how to make a speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve. So in this example, we will make the clip go from a normal speed and then slow down to a slow speed and then smoothly go back up again to the normal speed. However, you can use this method to make the speed ramp however you want. You can also make it go from slow and to a higher speed and then to a slow speed again if that's something you want. So start by cutting out the clip you want to make the speed ramp. So to do this, you can just click on this blade here or press shortcut B. Then cut the clip where you want the speed ramp to start and also cut the clip where you want the speed ramp to end like this. Then you can press a or just click on this cursor icon here to go back to selection mode. Now right click the cut out clip like this and go to retime controls. Next thing, click on this expansion arrow here, go to speed ramp and then go to down to 0%. So now you can see the clip is going from 100 here to 90, 70, 50, 30 and 8% and then once this is played through it will go immediately up to 100% or normal speed again. So if that's how you want your speed ramp you can just leave it be. However a lot of people will want the speed ramp to go from a normal speed and then down to a slow speed and then smoothly go back up again to a normal speed. To do this, I'm just going to zoom into the timeline a little bit like this and then just position the timeline here. I'm going to leave the 90, 70 and 50 and then the 50% will be the slowest speed in this example. If you want, you can make it slower as well. Then I will make it go to 70% again here. So you can just click on the expansion arrow, go to change clip speed, and then you can set it to uh, say 75, which is uh, the option you have here. Then I'm also going to change this 70 to 75. And then I'm going to change the 8 to 90. So to do this, you can see we have no gray handle here, which we can easily see. So just hover your mouse over the top edge of the clip like this, and then just drag to the left to speed up the clip. As you can see, uh, we do not have room to increase the speed to 90. So I will just go ahead and move all the speed points to the left. So to do this, do not grab the top, but the bottom like this. Click, hold and drag and you will make the part which is 90% uh, speed shorter and you can see the 75 is now longer but I will move all of them to the left like this, like so and then we can try to speed it up to 90%. Yes, and now you can see the clip is 90%. Then you can go ahead and move the gray handles to the side again to make all the parts pretty much the same on both sides. So like this, like this, and uh, often you will want the middle part or the slowest part to last the longest. And this is what I'm going to do as well. So I'm just going to decrease the space here and then I'm going to adjust it a little bit like this. So if you now have a clip on both sides like this. The clip will go from normal speed here to 90, slow smoothly down and then go to 50% and then it will go up again to normal speed. If you want to make your speed ramp even smoother, you can just place your playhead uh, over the clip like this, click on the expansion arrow and add a new speed point and then you can set more options for the percentages and make the transition even smoother. And a quick bonus tip, if your clip is getting a little bit choppy or lagging when you have slowed the clip down, you can fix this by simply applying optical flow, meaning Resolve will add some additional frames in between the frames when there is too few, if that makes sense. So to do this, just click on the clip in the timeline to select it, then click on the inspector tab in the right corner here,
go down to read time and scaling. And then you want to set read time process here. Just a click on this arrow to expand it and set it against optical flow. And now your clip should play a bit more smoothly.